The pro-Palestine movement is taking the absolute mickey. Palestine Solidarity Campaign has issued a statement demanding a meeting with the Metropolitan Police Commissioner Mark Rowley because they say they were subjected to frightening abuse, insults and provocation from a pro-Israel counter-protest. Well, that's interesting because there is some evidence to suggest that the opposite might be true. Just a woman there telling Jews to F off back to Europe. Lovely. That statement continues, though. Head stewards representing the six organisations involved in the Palestine marches were horrified to discover pro-Israeli protesters who police had assured them would be behind barriers well away from the march had been allowed to assemble directly on the agreed route with only a space of three metres between them and hundreds of thousands of people trying to pass through. Many of the counter-protesters were holding placards accusing marchers of being rape supporters. Well... Firstly, it wouldn't be like the pro-Palestine lot to enter a space they're not supposed to now, would it? You've got no backbone and you guys are child well, killers and genocidal guys, all of you. I you yes, I know this doctor you very well. You guys have no backbone, you are child murderers and you are obsessive compulsive freaks mm, controlled no body. You all are part of a genocide. And it wouldn't be like them to hold up offensive posters, would it? There's some posters with Hitler's face on there, found at a pro-Palestine march. Uh, there's also some others uh, of swastikas. There we go. And a Hamas bandana. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. That's uh, just some of the stuff that Jews have to put up with. The Palestine Solidarity Campaign's letter continues. As reported by numerous stewards, march attendees and legal observers, they were screamed at, had phones shoved in their faces, and a number of young women stewards, many of them Muslims, were threatened directly. Meanwhile, the pro-Palestine brigade conducted themselves with absolute respect, didn't they? And there's definitely no evidence at all to suggest that Jewish people in Britain need to fear that adults on the pro-Palestine marches are indoctrinating their children to grow up to be massive anti-Semites. We're training our They're children. They're training their children. No, 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 you got me wrong. We're not training our children. We're training our children to train their children. I think that's worse. Hmm. The Palestine Solidarity Campaign continues in a letter to the Met Police. They say the treatment of the pro-Israel counter-protest by the police showed a completely different approach to the pro-Palestine demonstration. Gosh, two-tier policing, you say? Well, I never. You are quite openly Jewish. It's a pro-Palestinian just a man there being blocked from going about his business by police for being visibly Jewish. And of course, it's not as if the police would be more heavy handed with the pro Israel protesters, is it? <laughs> Today, Michael Gove, the Secretary of State for Leveling Up Housing and Communities, said this. No, no that it is genuinely dangerous for people to be openly, clearly, proudly Jewish near these marches. At a time when we're all encouraged to be our whole authentic selves, to celebrate our identity, to be out and proud, there is only one group told that they, and they alone, can only be tolerated on terms set by others, Jews. The pro-Palestine brigade can cry all they want to. The level of hypocrisy and entitlement here is laughable, given what they get up to, the way they behave and the damage they've caused. What they really want is for no pro-Israel people to be on their marches. They don't really want to see the Israeli flag, do they? They want them gone.